Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another video for money base. Today's video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process in which you can create a verified modified account. Now, modify is a better way for you to collect payment on your website, on your mobile application for absolutely free. You should understand, you don't need to even have a register business. I'm going to show you how you can get everything started and I'll give you some information that you need to, in order to get your account verified. And with this, you can receive payments. Your customer can send you money using USSD, like normal transfer, come to your account. They can send you money using their card. They can send you money just going to even pay it in the bank. So this is a very quick way to ensure that you get payment very quick and fast and you also have access to like four account number you know four different account number on your website on your mobile application so let me walk you through how you can get everything started in a very short period of time so ladies and gentlemen the first thing you're going to do is to click on the red button if you are here to subscribe because i create a video on how you can make money online and things that enable your business to strive well in this present age so the first thing you're going to do is to come and click on this menu button you can see the menu button up here so let me show you the menu button so here is the menu button this is the menu button up here so just click on the menu button when you click on the menu button then you come and come down here and click on get started so you click on this get started here yeah? so when you click on the get started it's going to take you to where you can actually put in your details okay so the first thing you're going to do is to put in your business so you're going to fill in your all these details for registration your business name first name second last name your phone number you put in your working email here put in your password here and your password should have a uppercase lowercase special number and phone and a, and a normal normal number then click on create my account so it's going to create your account for you if, if you have put in a working email and a, a valid phone number so it's going to say success account successfully created so just go to click that then you're going to take it to the next place here like i your name business name that what kind of business do you do now this is the place that you need to select starter business so when you click starter business it means you do not have a cac when you click a start business it means you have CAC. so i'm going to click on starter business here then business category here um okay i, I said uh, currently i'm having no 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 data for me here all right so and you cannot come continue definitely so what i'm going to do now is to is to go and verify my email because it's not there's not giving me any other options to select from so if i select this no other option to select from so just make sure you select starter business so let me just go to my email that has been sent to me and let me get myself verified so you verify your email very very briefly so yeah i'm going to select it this place here uh, okay now it's going to have all this. So let me see. It's not this one. I received two emails actually. So this one I'm going to select. Modify, verify your email. So I'm going to click on, on the link that is going to appear. Verify email. So I'm going to click on the verify email link here. And um, or another way you can do is actually open it, um, copy the URL and open it in your browser. So as you can see, currently it's brought me back here that my money my email have been verified so i'm going to click on login and this time around i'm going to log in so my details as it has, it has been before then i'm going to click on starter business here um then i'm going to select the type of business i'm doing so it depends on what you are doing so let's say um i'm starting a vtu business so i'm going to search for v so if, I, if it's an e-commerce you see come business but i'm starting in this video i'm using for vtu so i'm going to create vtu partnership business and click on save and proceed so the category of business that you want is what you are going to put there okay that's now this being done successfully the next thing i'm going to do is to actually get myself um you can see that currently here is in test mode you can see it here let me show you, you can see this place here is in test mode so i have to make it to be in active mode so i'm going to click on this amber button up here now this is the button i actually clicked on this amber button here i'm going to click on this amber button here so it's going to close up for me here and the next thing i'm going to do is to fill up of this thing so i can complete 100 percent so the first thing i'm going to do is to click on business information so you're going to tell them what your business is all about so just briefly um just going to put in money this is a vtu i'm going to use this one for vtu you know just for example it's a bit vtu partnership business we offer just tell them a very some something about your business we offer um the sales of vtu data at time and bill payment 
okay now you put in your supporting email here so i'm going to put in the supporting email i'm going to put the one um okay just so put in this particular email then my chargeback email I'm going to put, put it the same thing i'm going to put what i've put there before okay now i'm going to put in the company address so it's nigeria i'm going to select nigeria then state i'm going to select the states you're going to select any state you are then the local government area i'm going to select the local government area okay and then the next thing is to enter your address so i'm going to enter my address here so let me put in this address okay let me just change it quickly so you're going to put in your own address here all right then put in your business your business um, logo put in your business logo here then this business logo although i don't think it's um highly important but you can put it if if you want to select it then the next thing i'm going to put is um, website for business which is actually optional you can see they will put the optional because i don't put it can try not to put it so let me just put in my own here so i have a website that has that particular name so i'm going to put in website don't forget that it's optional then you put in your social media stuff here if you want to i'm going to click on save now they say that your chargeback email must be a valid email support email must be a valid email all right this is a valid email it's valid so let's see it must be a valid email address okay i don't know what the problem is i think the, okay the problem is the space i put there all right so because i put a space at the ending so i'm going to take away those spaces all right so that's been done do you click on um save so it's going to you save it now now that now that this has been comp successfully completed as you can see then you come to your account information here you put in your bank so let me just put select my own bank here so i'm going to put in um zenith bank then you put in your account number so i'm going to put in my zenith bank account number here now the next thing i'm going to do is also click on save so so if it's valid it's going to bring out your name there so you click on save you can see that we are saving the information is is getting increased so the next one is to put in your business registration information so you click on it now this particular place you don't have it you don't have board resolution and complaints profiles and this is because you don't um really you're not really registered as a business website uh, you're, not, you're not really registered with cac so what you are going to do to get things started you can you're click on this um c sample so you click on c sample something's going to load up for you like this you can see it loading up so this is it here so you can actually if this is copyable you can copy it okay let's see if it's copyable i'm just going to press it and see uh, okay let's see now this everything here you cannot actually um copy it it's not copyable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all this thing i have it as a um, i have it here with me here as a copied one like file so all i want to do is just to put it in the description box below i'm going to put everything in the description so that's what you're going to do just put it here so let me just show you a sample of it so i have a sample of it here in my google drive so this is one of it here as as you can see presently here on my screen let me just open this briefly so okay this is opening for me so this is a complete resolution so i'm going to copy everything the way it is here like this the way it's, it is and i'm going to put in the description box below i also copy the, the complete profile and put it in the description box below so when you have done that all you have to do is to save it as pdf or you know you can save it as pdf you can even after i finish writing you can also screenshot it on your phone you know so that because you can also, also they, can, they also collect it as pdf or jpeg or png so i'm going to put it just copy it change all those details like for example if the name of a website is um let's say money beast for example so here i'm going to put instead of me putting xyz i'll put money beast i'll put money beast there then I'm going to put my address at this dot dot. I'm going to put my address. Then, therefore, on this place, I'm going to put my address there. Change the SYZ to my complaint name. Then, put my signature. So you can actually use WP. You can go to on Google and put WP WP uh, app. So on Google Play Store, then then Google Google P app, you can sign on the WP password, screenshot it. Then 
ping, click on this button this particular button down here let me show you the button okay this one this let me show you the button briefly so with this button you can put in image so other have signed a screenshot you just put in this image and put in your signature there it's the same thing now when you are done with that i'm also going to put the uh the complete profile below just copy it and do the same thing then you're going to click on save now the next thing you're going to do to get us to get your account verified is to put in your bvn so you're, you're going to enter your bvn and your bvn date of birth put it there also then you come here to order so this place put your put in your business website your tax national tax id actually my i put in my nin so you can put in your nin then or if you have a tax id you can put it there then here you go to put your utility bill you are going to copy your utility so here i'm going to put in your utility bill it's the same thing i just screenshot it you know um, snap it so you can actually see a sample so you click on sample it's going to pop up like this so you can just do something like this this is what they want then you're going to click on save then the orders here you click on orders okay see we've done of we don't with order then each place you're going to put in your um companies you can see it's here business owner information you put in everything fill on everything here then your valid id you can put in your nin just screenshot your nin or if you have any valid id card and put that in then when you are done this is going to this is going to first put pending after a while uh, it's, going to, it's, going to, it's going to increase 100 percent then within a short period of time you get you become um active you become active so ladies and gentlemen that's how you can do in order to get your money file register and active so don't forget i'm going to put the sample of um the business profile and the business resolution i'll put in the box below so you can actually get it there and if you are using um youtube app it might not be enabled to copy so you can just decide to open your youtube app on the on the browser so you can be able to copy what is in the description box so if you still have any issue you can actually let me know in the comment section i might send it to you i might send it to your email or send it to your whatsapp number so this, now that we have finally created it if you want to get your api this is what you have to do you just come here and click on developer so when you click on developer so it's not going to come here for you okay so you click on developer the next thing to do you can see your api these are your api just copy your api and put it on your website then you come to your web hook here yeah, you get put in your web hook, your web hook are just like um your website name for slide modified dots, whatever. Just put them here and you are good to go. So ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to seeing the next video. Thank you so much and I love you. Thank you.